Hola Portugal! This is my homeland. I felt at home with everybody speaking Portuguese. The last time I was there, I was only seven years old. So going back was really exciting for me. I'm João from Good Morning Hostel, and today we're going to Sintra! Woo! Yes! yes. Ah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Talking about it. So this crazy house that we're in right now, it was from the Portuguese chapter of the Freemasons. And you can see the little parts of the artwork around here have got like M's in there to indicate that it is actually Freemason property. Trying to find the entrance into the Freemasons secret cave. One of these books. I know it. drink in the hostel. If you do this jumping with just one leg. <laughs> in Cabo de Roca, the Cape of the Rock, because yeah, this is a cliff with 120 meters. We're about to enter Livramento Market, which is one of the best markets in Portugal. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Don't leave me hanging. Point fish. No, shut up. Oh, no. Fish. <laughs> fish. Welcome to El Porto We have to free the crabs. This Mike is not usually right. frees the crabs. <laughs> Holy, look at that. That's one big eel. Smell my finger. Oh. Smell my finger, bro. Alright, we're having Muscatel wine. Alex is loving his Bifanas here. So we started off in Lisbon and we landed ourselves in Good Morning Hostel, which is easily one of the best hostels that we stayed at. Mostly due to the fact that the staff is so accommodating and make you feel like you're just part of this really big family. We're here for the party! Party in the dining room! Come on in here, otherwise we're gonna drink them all! Walking through Lisbon right now, and every corner we come around, I feel like there's going to be some epic statues. Is there a statue around the corner? Boom! Oh, there is. <laughs> is there a statue around this corner? This is such an easy game. The answer is always yes. <laughs> and the answer, oh! Well, we can lay low. Well, we can get. Another statue. Oh, oh, they're we not gonna do statue. So honey, let's go. Let's do what we love. I was gonna offer someone a bite, but <laughs> don't right look now. around. <laughs> So we're just on our first train here in Europe and uh, we're coming from Lisbon and we are going to Lagos. 
Now when we roll into these hostels, we're not expecting a lot, and it's really awesome and it's really appreciated when these hostel owners just take us on our own adventures. We don't even know what's gonna happen, but they show us around and we really have a great time doing that. Hi, I'm Felipe from Tech Hostel in Lagos, and we are ready to go for a tour in the West Coast. Come with me. Nailed it! Let's go! Vamos! We're in front We're of a West sweet Coast. Portuguese castle, and the drone shot's gonna come to you right now. Letting you go when the tears roll down your face. Let me tell you. So we have an olive tree and Portugal is known by its olive oil. Very, very good. And over there, we have a fig tree down there. These will be olives? Yeah. Oh my god. What do you think about olives, Natalia? I love them so much. <laughs> Been having so much food here in Portugal. I'm stuck. And it's cheap. So good. Luck night at the hostel, and uh, Andrew and I are working on some sweet potatoes for the, for the fam. rough and you really have to get your timing down to get in these caves uh, and out safely and um, you could get into some serious troubles if a wave came and smashed you up against these rocks. Oh shit, look at that wave coming. Oh shit. Who wants the right side? We do, we do. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, are you serious? Yeah, he's serious. Yo, are you serious? Yeah, I'm let's serious. do it. I'm... Oh, go, let's go, let's go. So I had another first time experience. We went paddle boarding. Today we're going to go paddling out in Benajil, a fairly famous cave these days. It's one of them, it's the biggest cave in the Algarve. Hey Santos! We had to time ourselves on the paddle with the waves to be able to come into this underground cave. You had to give it everything you got to time it with the waves to slide in there safely. Okay guys, I'm coming in. <laughs> I 
Great to meet you guys. This guy's man. the best. Awesome. This guy's the best. When you're in Lagos, you gotta come and do this. It, it was an amazing day. I'm sunburned, but uh, I had such an amazing time and I've never seen caves like this. So a great other aspect about Portugal is that in comparison to the majority of the other Western European countries, it's super cheap. It was like Eastern European cheap. So that's a great reason to go there. Obrigado, te amo Portugal. And now we're off to a Spain. Let's go. Yeah, pound it out. Jellyfish. Hey, let's have a hug. Bigger jellyfish. Oh my god. Here, pinky swear, I won't do it again, I promise. Little jellyfish. <laughs> So I find that the Australians kind of find the coolest spots around the world to make their home a secondary home away from home and definitely in Lagos, that's one of the spots. It's run by a bunch of Australians in most of the bars and this one bar, the Three Monkeys, was an absolute gong show. We went there three nights in a row because it was so much fun. Those guys know how to have an amazing party. <laughs> 